Hi guys, I would like to share with you something very important and very exciting for me. A few years ago I came to my studio, the studio door, and there was one empty unit, empty studio for a while already. So when I was passing by I saw something is new, something is different. And when I peeked in through the window, I saw a bunch of paintings sitting on the floor laying against the wall. And I got completely lost, completely mesmerized by the art what I saw. And at that very moment, I just felt like, that's it, that's what I want to learn. I was painting for a few years already, and I loved it. It was the most amazing thing that happened to me in my life. But I felt like I'm kind of boxed, like I was so, so focused on detail and, 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 and just go into detail until I can and it was never enough. When I looked at the art in the studio, I just saw so much freedom, so much depth and, and, and movement. So I just knew, like, that's it, I want to learn that. I got asked many times which master artist is, is my favorite, and I never had an answer. Like, I like a lot of art, I like a lot of artists, but I never felt like that's what I want to do. This time, I, for the first time, I felt it. So a few days later we met and I got blown away even more. Her name is Hyacinth Baron. She is this little lady with huge personality and amazing life stories. Like she she's master artist. She's from New York and, and she was learning to paint from Duchamp and, and, and all those huge names. She was first lady having art gallery on Madison Avenue in New York and just mind-blowing so we, I connected with her like right away so strong and I asked her if she would teach me share with me what she knows and she said yes so we worked together and it was not easy <laughs> she was trying to break me for, for a long time the most important thing she, she taught me it was to use my hands use my fingers and what happened by that, I was kind of able to go into the canvas, un un under the surface, kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it gave it so much more emotions and, 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 and I just could feel it. Like brush between me and canvas make distance, make, make separation. And she told me how to break that separation. It's still process, but I, 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 I love where it is where it is going. It's, it's much easier for me now to, to channel my emotions, my, my feelings to my art. So I'm forever grateful I met her. And here is the exciting part. Last year Hyacin decided to create a whole collection of paintings inspired by Greek mythology. And she invited me and a few other local artists to collaborate with her on it. So for me it was a huge opportunity to work with master artists on the same collection to touch the canvas that master artist touches with me. I feel very, very honored. We worked on it for several months. We were swapping canvases back and forth and it was fun. It was a very learning experience for me and super fun. Now it's finished. And I would like to invite you to join me for a revealing night and check the whole collection. Hyacin also will be screening her documentary about her life story, what I'm super excited to see and hear. So please join me, May 6th, mark your calendar.